Yeah, I completed a substory about that. All right, pocket fighter. I'm not done yet. Yeah, whatever. Oh, let's see if stop and search, actually. Just to get a conversation with him out of the way. Because he's, he's one of those, like, it's kind of a sub-story, but it's also a friendship thing. It, it's weird. This game's fucking weird. There's so many things going on that I have that Like, I'm going to probably have to go beat all those dances to get CPs. and I'm going to have to get... Well, I can't grind money yet, unfortunately. Money grinding doesn't come until I unlock my hideout and everything associated with that. Is he down here? Oh, shit! I think it's time, guys. It is time for the attempt. Can I afford anything? No. Sure. Sure. Oh, that's good. All right, let's see if we can go get nine million free dollars. Hey, dickhead. Oh. Hey, you, you're the guy from before. You heard about me, it makes it easier. Apex Predator. Nigga Rosh, I'm one of your strongest living creature. The strongest man in the world doesn't code. I'm the apex of all organisms. It's awfully ambitious for actually a common thug. Who's the strongest living creature around beating people up? Look, going to the gym or any of the regular stuff isn't enough for me. I just stress training, that costs money. How else am I supposed to pay for it? Everyone in Japan comes to spend money on camera. Just say, I don't look at these pickings on the streets. Better look elsewhere because I don't feel like donating money to your cause. Not a voluntary donation. I'm taking it by force. You don't have a single yen left. She is like annoying. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Come on. No! Oh shit. I just lost nine. No, get up! Oh my god, I'm about to die. Shit, run away. Oh shit. Oh, he's almost done already. Wow. Ooh, ooh. Oh god. Fuck. Oh fuck me. Oh no. Oh god, no. No, you son of a bitch, you stole my money. <laughs> Give me my money! No! Give me back my money! Motherfucker. I don't even have enough money to take a fucking taxi or something. Here, give me some money. I'm gonna shake you down. I need a reverse shakedown. Thank you for the money. <laughs> I think he's down this street up ahead, actually. Fucking, and of course he disappears, so you can't just fight him again. Oh, god damn it. I'm gonna have to find that piece of shit someday. Oh, those guys. Oh, there he is. He's down there. I'll... Sure, I need more money. Cool, cuz. The funny thing is, I can afford almost any basic supplies, like buying food or anything I need at this point in the game. Like, off of just the one guy. One pair of guys. Yeah, they were a little richer. Like, now I can head down here. Talk to him and then grab a bite to eat to heal up. Kiri-san, got time? Yep, here, have another... Here, ha no, you know what? Just to change it up. Here's a toughness. Hmm. This is about as safe as it gets. Doesn't look like you're carrying anything dangerous. It'll keep going up. Don't worry. Uh, what's a restaurant nearby? Ramen. Is there a sub story related to food? I can't remember. Um. Pocket circuit fighter. Convenience store clerk. No. Doesn't look like it. All right. Yeah, it looks like I don't have any food-related one yet, so we'll just go to this restaurant. Excuse me, boys. I'm trying to get a bite to eat, please. 
Fuck, that move never works ever. Just get out of my way. Alright, now I want to grab a bite to eat. Yeah, one of the restaurants, I'm pretty sure you become friends with a guy, but it's either not showing it now or I don't know what. Nice. That was tasty. All right, so now we're gonna stroll through the streets, and I'm gonna try to find that la that one sub story that I did off camera, and that'll be probably the last thing we do today. And then next time, like I said, we'll get back to the real sh the real shit. Actually, where was it? Excuse me. I was just looking, and I. What was it? Um, there's that. So he's like... Oh, he's like in that alleyway. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna head up there for a second. Because there's a... No huh? Huh? Oh, let me guess. Someone's getting beat up somewhere. Oh, it's... Hey, a fight where I can get a reward. Oh, I was gonna, I should have. That's what I want the kick. Ooh, the double tap. Swiss watch, cool. You can sell those. Those are worth decent money. You gotta sell those kind of things at the pawn shop. Are you gonna talk to me? Oh. Yep. Mm. Here's a stamina. Whoop. I'll probably get his friendship all the way up. If I do off camera, I'll tell you guys what happens, because that's one of the sub stories I saw during the LP I watched. Wish to god I could find Mr. Shakedown and give him another piece of my mind. <sighs> Shakedown almost, basically almost is heal every time you get hit. Hello. Hey there, want some mushrooms? Huh? Mushrooms? Hey, I got some great ones. Can you put a smile on your face? What do you say? I should have put a smile on your face. Sorry, I'm not interested in that sort of thing. Come on, why not give him a try? At least you won't find fun. Or no, I'm good. You got someone else. That's too bad. Hey, is it true you're selling mushrooms here? Hey, hey, a customer. What kind of mushrooms are you looking for? Uh... Never done them before, I don't know much, so can you recommend something? It's rare to find someone new to mushrooms. All the ones I got in stock are great, but let me think. How about enoki mushrooms? Oh. They're in season now. Enoki. <laughs> I get it, you give them regular names so nobody catches on, huh? Smart. Huh? But enoki is enoki. What do you mean? I'm looking for the kind of mushrooms that make me feel good. Well, my enoki mushrooms are top quality. Eat them in a hot pot uh -huh. and you'll feel good, alright. Make it fun of me because it's my first time. Want your face rearranged? No, I'm not making fun of you and I don't want my face rearranged. Wait, the mushroom dealer. He's not dealing drugs. Hey, that's enough. I get the feeling this guy's not the kind of mushroom dealer you're looking for. Oh, I don't get it. And who asked you anyway? Fuck off. Hey, hear me out. Gur, if you're not going to shut your mouth, I'll shut it for you. Wow. All this. All this. Street tool again, you mean, game. And just for funsies, beat him to death with a bucket. Yep, that felt good. <laughs> that delayed yell. <laughs> so, you were saying- What the fuck? This guy is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, thanks for helping me. Well, I was just defending myself. No, you're a lifesaver. Can I ask your name? Let's cure you. Hey, yeah, cure you, son. Hey, here, take this in my thanks. Enoki. You really do sound very much. That's what I said from the beginning. My mushrooms are caring to be a smile on your face. That's exactly the kind of talk that confuses people. Look, you know there are mushrooms that make you hallucinate when you eat them, right? You sell mushrooms in a shady part of town like Camarocho. People are bound to get mixed up. Why don't you sell them somewhere else? Hmm, it's just... Why, is there some reason it has to be Camarocho? I want as many people as possible to enjoy my mushrooms. 
Tokyo is the best place to find lots of people, Kamurocho especially. Well, you're not wrong about that. I've only just started out. If I pack up and leave now, I feel like I failed. I want to give it a bit more time. See, well, I won't stop you. Be careful, though. Yeah, you're a kind man. Kill you some. Thanks. They call you Kitajima the Shroomer. For magnificent mushrooms, Kitajima the your man. See you around then. Ah, friendship. Let's just try buying one. Uh. Do I just have to keep buying fucking mushrooms from you? Oh my god. Oh, he's leaving for now. He's really trying his best. Another friendship I can just grind out on my own time. Alright, let's try to find- Oh, hello guys. Gotta love the music, so good. What is this? What am I holding? A mysterious syringe? Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit. That was amazing. I knew I had to. Anytime you pick up anything weird, heat move. Heat move is your answer. Are you serious? You're another one, aren't you? Uh huh. Nice, you push those blades. Oh, shit! <laughs> I stumbled. <laughs> I stumbled into another batch. Pick it up. Here you. Ow. I'm not trying to. Really? Fucking really? Oh my fucking god. All I wanted was to hit people with a bicycle. That's so much to ask. Eat a fucking bicycle wheel, you dickhead. Yeah, catch. Whoops. So if you didn't get what just happened, I threw the bicycle wheel, then uppercut his face into the flying bicycle wheel. Oh my god, these fucking guys. That was a bit lame, but whatever, they're dead. Man, that guy who stunlocked me was frustrating. Well, I'm not really expecting... You, see, you look like a unique person. Whatever, we're here to find a quest. One final sub-story. Oh, a dog. Oh my god. Oh. Didn't notice that the guy I bumped into was one of those guys. Not even running, dude. It's kind of sad, you know? Let's see. I think I triggered it by running through over here. Because I, I was heading to pocket racing. No! Go away! No, 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 no. Aw, oh, you cut through that. That's not nice. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Get dropped. Thank you. Wow, I'm already back up to 2 million yen. I got shaken down like 10 minutes ago. There we go. All right, time for the last sub story. Look at this motherfucker. Oh. Yikes. Hardcore who? Hey, you all right? Uh, he's our bummer, some swaggering punk. Oh, right, you're, you're an old man. This isn't gonna end well. Are you all right? Or, no, what's the big idea, yo? I'm sorry. Uh, Watch where you step shit for brains. Wow. You're not gonna hurt anyone, uh, any hurt or anything, are you, asshole? Daddy. All right, that's how you wanna play this out. What? Eep, I'm so sorry. No, I mean, I'm in a rush to see you, so please good luck, you punk at so-and-so. Oh, yeah. What just happened? Damned Yankee. <laughs> Let's find out about the Yankees, dude. Dude. <sighs> Ooh, oh, look. 
Huh? Look at all these punks. What's going on? It's a rough looking crowd. Oh, I'm so freaking stoked, man. Rare street show by the Yak Yakamichi Silvers. Too right, these guys are rock and roll gods. Look at this bitching crowd. They drew all these punks out and the ads are nothing. Crazy Kyo and the Yomi Yomichi Silver Silvers fucking rule. Keep your pants on, but I heard they're doing a Q&A panel too. No effing way. They're famous for never saying a word and letting their music do the talking. I wonder what they'll talk about. Sounds like some bands in the venue must be popular with the local punks. Huh? Oh, fuck. <laughs> this looks great. Is that the guy who tripped over my feet? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at these people. Holy cow, what are we going to do? Hey, you. Yikes. Gee whiz, pal. I need to pee my... What are you doing shuffling around behind me, you ugly knob? Uh, yeah, sorry, I thought I should apologize from the beginning of you earlier. Oi, who? Oh, you're that man. No, I should be apologizing from a careless... I mean, whatever, piss off. Uh, sure. Cool. Huh? Wait a second, can you possibly be unaware of who I am? Huh? You're asking if I met before we bumped into each other? We did, I don't recognize you. Oh, wait a second then, so you don't really know who I am. Willikers, what a relief. Huh? I'm sorry, I was rude not to introduce myself. Name's Kyo, but my stage name's Crazy Kyo. I'm the vocalist in the band. Let me guess, the Yokomichi Silvers. Same band those young punks are excited to see. Aren't you guys some kind of legendary Yankee band? Yes, that's us. We're doing a street show here later. Oh, sorry to bug you before your show. Good luck. Whoa, what the hell do you think you're going, old man? Uh, uh, wait, please, sir, don't go. Huh? Maybe maybe you could save me. Save me. Save you? Oh, boy. Hey. What? Are you, even, you, are you even hardcore in the slightest? Nope. As a joke, we tried dressing all punk at our show. To our shock, we got pretty public with the Yankee crowd, but now we have to keep this charade full time. Over time, we gave the fan base of wannabe punks, and the Yokomichi Silver, Sil Silvers became heroes of the rebellious youth of Japan. The whole style is called the Yankee now. So that's more to running a band than I thought. So, what do you mean by saving you? I, uh, actually... I want you to teach me how to be a hardcore Daddy. hooligan. Teach you to be a Yankee? Yes. You see, for today's event, we also have to do a live panel, a meet and greet for the fans. But every member of the Yokomichi Silvers, and myself included, are law abiding choir boys. We've never even shoplifted. If we were to walk in, talk in front of a real Yankee, they'd realize that we're phonies. Fake funk punks, eh? Now that you mention it, the way you talk doesn't match the way you dress at all. Right, so if I spoke to our fan, if we spoke to our fans, we'd all our credibility and popularity in an instant. For worse, what if they want revenge on us for fooling them? Okay, but do you don't have to do this panel thing? Why don't you just skip it? I don't want to do it either. But our agency says we need to hone our speaking skills if we want to stay popular. They're making us do this. We've been avoiding every situation where we might have to talk instead of just performing. But now, God, it's the only teach you how to behave like a Yankee so you can talk like them. But why me? Why? Why that would be because you're my ideal of what a hooligan should be. A confident demeanor. Your razor sharp glare. The barbed wire attitude that says, touch me and get cut. And yet, you also exude a sense of kindness. A guy who extends a helping hand to the weak. A hooligan with a heart of gold. That's my ideal Yankee. Hell oh, yeah, I am a Yakuza, kind of. <laughs> you can teach us so we won't blow our cover. More than that, I think you can give us Yankee wisdom that will propel the Yokomichi Silvers to new heights of hooliganism. Please, if we lose this chance, the Silvers may have to break up. Please teach me how to carry myself like a true Yankee. Okay. Okay. Okay, then. Not sure how useful I can be, but I'll try. Really? Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't catch your name. Let's cure you. Okie dokie, cure you, son. Give me just a second, please. I'll go get the others. Time to teach the hooligans how to be hooligans. Look at these tough-looking guys. Sorry to keep you waiting, cure you, son. This is our drummer, Sleazy Tarashi. Hello there, I'm Tarashi. My stage name is Sleazy, but I have no experience with the lazies. Never even seen a boob. And this is our bassist, Bad Boy Aku. I'm Aku. Hobby's caring for elders. <laughs> this is Kiryu-san, who's going to impart ways of true Yankee-style hooliganism onto us. Please teach us, Kiryu-san. Hmm, you guys are so plain and proper. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything I could do for you. Try sitting like me, like a total badass. Oh no, please don't say that. We're all pretty good guys at heart, so please help us. In your case, being pretty good guys is the problem. But I did agree to do this, so somehow we have to turn you into guys into hard-edged punks. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Hmm, how can I show you guys how to be tough, though? Hmm. Hmm, well, maybe you can come with an opening remark for little of me. Your opening remark? Yes, I want to kick off our panel with authority. Being hooligans, we shouldn't come across as weak or hesitant. Please, kill yourself. I need a zinger of an open line to set the tone. Start your engines. 
Why not open with start your engines? Start your engines. Uh, oh, like a racing term. Right. The Yankee movement is inspired by Western greasers. They love their wheels. So true. That does go with the Yankee lifestyle. So I should follow something like get my pistons pumping, don't you think? Hey, that's good. It wouldn't hurt to throw in something like ram it into overdrive either. <laughs> right, right. I don't know about. I didn't know about that one. I'm so glad we got your advice, Kiryu-san. Ooh, ooh, Kiryu-san. Question. What is it? Well, the agency told me the fan told me to tell the fans about how I spend my days off when I'm not rehearsing or performing. Your days off, huh? Makes sense. The fans would want to know their heroes' live, how their heroes live day from day to day. Trash. How do you spend your day off? Well, I make a habit of getting up bright and early so I can make some pancakes. Then after breakfast, I take my darling puppy Chibi Chan to a park for a mid-morning stroll. And then we have lunch at a chic cafe to rest our feet. On our way home, we do a little window shopping. After that, I binge on the dramas I've got on my VCR until bedtime. Uh, you just strive to typical girl's day. Huh? Uh, sorry, that, was, that really made you sound like a fashionable young woman. I was so surprised I got intense. I, I'm so scared. Oh no, Kitty, okay, you shouldn't shout like that. You made S Sleazy Tarashi cry. That's a bit much, don't you think? Oh dear. Sniffle. Should say uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, my bad, Tarashi. It's, it's all right. I just startled. I wasn't expecting it. Is all. So, so how about how about about that? About how I would spend my day off? Uh, yeah, right. One thing's clear: you can't tell the fans how you really spend your free time. No, I guess not. But then, what should I say? What would I be doing instead? Fighting all day. On your days off, you spend your time fighting from dawn to dusk. F fighting? I don't really get it, but who, who do hooligans fight? Do Yankee have sworn enemies or something? It's not about having enemies. Yankee are always ready and willing to fight. If two punks lock eyes, a fight is on. That's how it is on the mean streets of Cavarocho. This is apparently why Kitty gets attacked all the time. And just so you know, fist fighting is considered the most hardcore and cool. Jeepers, what a brutal community. I can't take my dog out for a walk yeah. in that war zone. Hold on, the, dog, the, the dogs that punks keep tend to be fiercely loyal and thirsty for blood. They're often trusty partners in a street fight. Is that right? I can't picture my delicate Chibi-chan engaging in a kerfuffle <laughs> like that. Boy, am I glad we could hit you up for advice, Kiyu-san. You're the perfect hooligan role model. Mm. Kiyu-san. Mm. Oh, you're bad boy Aku, right? What's the matter? What do I say? Mm. Aku, you, you, you didn't get a topic like Tarashi? Nope. Angie told him to wing it. He's free to talk about whatever, even though he's practically mute. Bad Boy Aku even has a backstory. Locked up in a juvenile reformatory from birth. Wow. Bad Boy Aku crushed packs of punks before he even finished preschool. He is trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Aku's made a few words with a crazy backstory. What should you talk about to make him sound hardcore? Don't say anything! Don't you think it'd be better to just stay quiet? Huh? Stay silent during the panel. Wouldn't a discussion without any talking be a disaster? Yeah. Nope. Aku to, was told he was free to talk about whatever he wants. That means he's also free to not talk at all. That's true, but it would be worse if he were to say the wrong things and wreck his image. From Aku's backstory, I think it would seem more hardcore if he kept his mouth shut. You put it that way, it makes total sense. Okay, we'll do that. Bad boy Aku stays speechless during his part. Sure, Aku, you good with that? Okay. All right, now we'll go over and run this whole panel. Decision. Yes, please. So this is how most of these work. There's like three decisions and probably a fight. Yokimiji Silver, is almost ready for you. Oh, is it time? Or, I mean, fine. Gah. Yikes, so sorry. I mean, come on when you're ready. I'll be watching from the audience. <coughs> God. Yes, please watch us. We're going to hit this hardcore <laughs> Yankee thing out of the park. We're going to kick ass and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hobby caring for the elderly. Here they are. Pretty good for Yogamichi Silvers. There's like five guys. Woo, crazy Kyo-san. Tabayaku over here. Whoa, Crazy Kills original ESP guitar. Smoke a rad style. Main guy Yank look nailed. Wow, they are popular. When they're not talking, they do look like real greasers. Stopping wet high rock and roll after school. Tarashi Yaku, hit it, boys. And we don't get to hear the music. Because writing that song would have been tough. That concludes today's performance by the Yokomichi Silvers. Just listen to this song. I think it's why Yank kids rock fan look up to them. Now, I'd like to move on to a special meet and greet panel discuss with band members. Whoa, no way. Crazy Kyo sounds actually going to talk to us. That's totally mental. I can't fucking wait to hear Bad Boy Aku's voice. Here's where it gets real. We better pull this off. Yo, Grease Hounds. We're the Yokomichi Silvers. Start your engines. Yeah. Crazy Kyo sound. Cool your jets, bros. We got a hand at Crazy Kyo sound. He knows how to rev, uh, rev us up and kick us in the top gear. He's totally fucking ace. Thanks for coming and rocking out to our tunes. We love you, all you romantic rebels. You punks get my pistons pumping right here under the hood. 
I love you like my turbo drive. Woo! Good, the fans are eating up. Going with the racing terms paid off. Awesome. Thank you, Crazy Kira-san. Now we would like to hear from Sleazy Tarashi-san and Bad Boy Yaku-san as well. First up, Sleazy Tarashi-san. Here's a question we got from a fan. How do you usually spend your days off? Bruh, me, if I get a day off, I spend it fighting, mostly. Sleazy Tarashi-san's a beast, man. Fighting is like exercise to him. Too wicked for words. Oh, shit. I would pay to get my ass kicked by Tarashi-san even just once. Just so you know, I don't allow nothing but going bare knuckle in a brawl. If it ain't fist, it ain't a fight. Wow. Yeah! Good, the fans are ringing up. I know spending all day fighting will rev up these points. Thank you, Sleazy Tarashi-san. To close out, it's time for Bad Boy Aku-san to say a few words. <laughs> um. That was it? No way, you just said it for the whole panel discussion? That's, that's... Okay. Holy crap! Bad Boy Akusan's the coolest Water rebel. He doesn't even play the right rules. Not even his own rules. That's what makes him Bad Boy Akusan. He rules. Good, it was right decision to not let the quiet Aku speak. After all, it doesn't take big mo talk to make a big man. That attitude speaks louder than words. Whew. Look at that guy. That's how you work a mic, dude. Kisan, were you watching? Yeah, I saw everything. Good work. Kisan, we tried to apply what we learned from you about the ways of Yankee to our panel. The fan response was uh. fabulous. I'm still in shock. Yeah, it seemed that way. You guys learned well. I'm proud of you all. Looks like Yokomichi Silvers will keep shooting up towards the start with the speed of light. We owe you big time, Kisan. Got a wild shirt. I'm wild. Yeah, I don't have any space. Guess I'll send it to the item. Fuck. How do I don't even know how to manage this side stuff. I have too many of these fucking belts from baseball. Wow, that was the most fun I've ever had speaking in public, Kyu-san. Thanks. From now, we're going to keep working hard to expand on what you taught us about the way of the Yankee. We're working on our speaking skills as well. Keep an eye on us, Kyu-san. The Yokomichi uh. Silvers are kicking it up another gear. Yeah, give it your best shot. We will. People sure have all kinds of challenges to face. At least these guys are diligent. They should survive the Rush Road Entertainment, too. Don't give up, Yokomichi Silvers. Mm -hmm. Whew. That was a talky one. Oh, baby. Well, we did it, everybody. We did a bunch of side stories. Can I not... No, I don't want to discard it. All I want to do is find a way to send these to the item box. I should use a weapon someday. I also have two guns. Master Ball. Oh my god. Stun Gun, Photon Blade. Jeez. Big Festival Fan. Marlin can't. Whatever. So I have my Yakuza training gear. Increases money and also enhances throwing. Wild shirt. When attacked, you won't go down easily. That's not very helpful. Sauron. No. These are all not nearly as good. Yeah, look at 11, 11, 11. It's such good defense. It's crazy. Magnetic necklace. Oh, wow. That's not very useful. Keep from getting staggered. Ah. Save you from the brink of death. Whoa! Oh, no, that's for the other thing. So, yeah, these are all much less, uh, like, lower quality things. I can't afford anything. I have 37 CP. Wow, I might actually go spend some of it, because I'm probably going to get a bunch more. But look at how many fuck 37 out of th I'm a tenth of the way done. 100 dining eateries. Order everything on the like order everything on every menu. Spend a total of a billion. Scatter uh, I can't do that yet. Collect f cards, view different video clips. Earn a total of a billion. 
Oh my god. See, this is so many things I could just grind off camera. 150, 100, rush. There's also, a lot of these are not visible yet. Like, business isn't anything. These are all, again, like, I'm going to get these later. Mini games. Get a normal hunt Friday night, Friday night. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at all of these. Those are all disco score minigame things. Holy shit. Collect the gear. Races. What? I thought I won the rookies race. Oh, fuck. It loaded the save where I hadn't beat these yet. Damn. Oh, cat fights haven't even happened yet. Yep, those are arcade games. Look at how much is in this game, guys. It's crazy. I got so much to do, so much to see off camera. But this is why I fucking love this game. Look at it. It's just amazing how much stuff there is. I, I don't even know what these do. I mean, obviously they heal. I don't know if they do other things as well. All right, I want to get in a fight just so you guys can see me swing a baseball bat. Uh -huh. So I should... I should oh, I know what to do. So I can't be in this. I need to switch. And then if I press down, I pull out my weapon. So, just for a sample. Smash. And the wind-up. And he's out of here. That's cool. Now I know how to use weapons. Awesome. Ow. Bop, bop, bop. So yeah, I think we are going to stop here for now. Uh, for next time, I'm going to go find... Um, it's they're, they're basically back here. They're, they're behind... I think they're in this alleyway is where uh, Tachibana Real Estate is doing stuff. I, if I do any more sub-stories off camera, I will let you guys know. Actually... Oh, I'm not injured because I ate the... No, I, I ate before. I want to... Because it's always worth ordering new food. Order new food to fill up your menu orders. Yeah, see, you're only allowed to order one. But yeah, so for next time, um, we'll see how much I have done. Probably not going to do much more Pocket Fighter right now because apparently uh, I believe the sub story that I need to do to get some really good parts is not available until a later chapter, I think. Which is fine. It's just a friend friendship thing and all this other stuff. But either way, thank you all so much for watching Let's Play Yakuza Zero. My name is Timpeed and I will catch you guys later.